Yo, what's up everybody? This is William from Before the Billions and I'm back with another video. As many of you guys know, I was recently laid off from my job as a data engineer and I have over five years of experience in data engineering. With that, I saw a lot of the comments that you guys were making in some of the videos that I've been putting out, talking about my layoff and talking about how I'm looking for new opportunities. Well, somebody was saying, why not look into the military or uh, working in government or GovTech? And I took that advice seriously. I've been seeing a lot on LinkedIn, how people have been posting that they have been applying to work with the Department of Defense. And that's exactly what I did. I applied through one of their programs that they have currently that's going on right now. Uh, so it is not data engineering, but it is cybersecurity. It's a completely different thing. I know some people um, may see some parallels between data engineering and cybersecurity because you essentially can work with some of the security team whenever you're setting up the infrastructure for an organization. Uh, but I went ahead and uh, applied for it. It is going to be a little bit different from what I'm used to, but having an uncomfortable situation makes you grow. So I went ahead and applied. So, so let's go ahead and check it out. This is the website here. It's from correlation1.com. I've been seeing a lot of people uh, post about this. So it says the final application deadline is May 15th of 2024. This is called the Cyber Centennial Skills Challenge from the U.S. Department of Defense. Your cybersecurity career with the DOD starts here. The Cyber Centennial Skills Challenge is your chance to showcase your skills win your share of $15,000 in cash prizes and kickstart a career with the U.S. Department of Defense. This is the Secretary of Defense right here. This is this quote. It says, people are the department's most critical asset. We remain the preeminent fighting force in the world because of our personnel in and out of uniform. I have never had more confidence in our ability to meet the security challenges of today and tomorrow. Here's some more information about the competition. The mission this DOD sponsor competition is designed to identify individuals interested in pursuing a cybersecurity career with the DOD. Our mission is to find experienced and emerging cybersecurity job seekers looking to advance their careers while safeguarding our nation's critical digital infrastructure. The challenge participants will be given a series of real world challenges that represent the skill sets most in demand by the DOD. These challenges are designed to measure your understanding of tasks and test your technical, analytical, and strategic abilities in the following skills categories, forensics, malware, reverse engineering, networking and reconnaissance, open source intelligence gathering, and web security. The reward winners of the competition will not only get the unique opportunity to learn more about jobs with the DOD, but also a share of the $15,000 cash prize pool. Who can participate? Applicants must be U.S. citizens and over the age of 18 to qualify. Individuals from all levels of cybersecurity experience, whether you are a seasoned cybersecurity professional or just starting in the field with a genuine interest in a career at the DOD, are welcome to apply. So prizes, $5,000 first place, $2,500 second place, $1,000 third place, $500 fourth place, 10th through 10th place. $300, 10 raffle prizes. Anyone who completes a challenge will be eligible to win. And here's just some more testimonials. And then they're talking about how there's job opportunities. So that's what I'm more so looking for. Uh, I don't really necessarily, I care about the cash prize, but I'm, that's not what I'm more so caring about mostly. Um, I could more so care about the opportunity to get uh, jobs. And uh, I heard that working in government is a very fulfilling uh, role or fe very fulfilling career skill-based hiring okay so as i said may 15th is the final application deadline and then they give you um the pre-competition webinar and, comp and competition credentials shared competition takes place on may 18th so that's when everything will be um doing and then i probably will make a video for it as well so that way you guys are in the know i've already applied to everything so i went through the application i have not um gotten her back yet it hasn't been approved yet but if it gets approved and everything works out fine i will make a follow-up video to this and here is a list of uh, frequently asked questions as well okay so i don't know guys let me know what you think in the comments down below do you think that this is a good um uh, a good thing 
I took you guys, I took a few people's advice that I saw in some of the comments. So hopefully you guys see this video and know that I did take your advice. I, I am listening uh, that GovTech is a great career. Uh, cybersecurity is also another great career choice as well. So people who are looking into cybersecurity, um, I would suggest it, uh, suggest getting into cybersecurity, especially um, right now with so many layoffs going on right now. A lot of developers are getting laid off. I got laid off myself. Cybersecurity will always be there. So they always will need people in cybersecurity, regardless of whatever innovations that they have for AI and whatever else. There's always going to be people who needs to defend against um, new threat actors. So that being said, I will see you all in the next video. Please go ahead and like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. You can also hit the bell notification icon if you want to be notified whenever I make new videos on YouTube. That like. It may be a small click for you, but it means a lot to me. Please go ahead and hit the links in the description down below so that way you can check out the Before the Billions website and then be able to join the newsletter so that way you can get more tech news and updates from Before the Billions and me. And also hit the link down in the description so that way you can also check out the Before the Billions Discord so that way you can speak with either me or anybody else within the BTV squad. I would really appreciate it. That being said, guys, I will see you all in the next video. Thank you all so much.